All right, so in this short video, I'm gonna talk about my experience building Cobb in the tropics and earthen building techniques in general for tropical environmental construction. So I've had experience only in Costa Rica. So um, Costa Rica is very close to the equator and the sun is very hot there. It rains a lot. Uh, so you get a you get this very difficult sort of um, climate to work in. Um, the problem I had with Cobb down there, so I'm going to tell you the problem, then I'll give you the solutions that I've come up with. So the problem was that uh, first of all, the soil is very clay rich. That has the potential to cause more cracking in the cob because there's too much clay um, so you need to ag add more aggregate or sand now what happened despite that um, the sun is so hot it dries out the cob material too quickly if it's exposed to sunlight during the day and obviously um, the rain also soaks it so you have to have really I would recommend having a roof structure over your building site as you build any cob walls because you need to control that environment that you're building in the sun the heat of the sun and the rainfall in combination is uh, just too much uh, too much for the cob to cure and dry properly so there's a lot of difficulties I think with doing cob in that region and I know I'm just speaking specifically about Costa Rica but I imagine you'd probably have similar issues in a lot of tropical areas um, probably Thailand as well you know if we're looking at um, more the other side of the world so um, these are just kind of general recommendations and observations now if I was going to do it again there are a couple things that I would do I would probably not do cob I would probably go with either one I would do a waddle and daub First of all, because in that region, you don't need all the thermal mass. There's no point to it. Most houses there are just stick frame boxes, basically. They don't have any insulation um, because the temperature is so mild and, and comfortable as it is. So wattle and daub wall, you know, is going to be quite thin as compared to a cob wall, which is usually very thick. So you don't need that thermal mass there. So you can do wattle and daub there, and I think it would cure much better. It's basically just like putting a plaster, an earthen plaster over a wooden, wooden lattice. So that's one really good option, I think, for that kind of environment. Next would be adobe block. So the strategy with adobe block it's the same thing as cob basically but you're making bricks so what you want to do is you want to have a controlled environment to where you can make these bricks and dry them in that controlled environment so they're not getting that heavy sun hitting them or that heavy rain and they can dry out and cure um, properly because I did do a lot of smaller uh, smaller bricks while I was there and they turned out perfectly they just needed that uh, controlled sort of drying environment. So adobe block is a great option for earthen building in the tropics, I think. And thirdly would be rammed earth. So rammed earth I think would work great in those regions. The only thing is you need to make sure that that soil gets uh, nicely dried out and uh, you need to somehow break it up 
because a lot, at least my experience in Costa Rica, the soil was very clay rich. You had to pull it out of the ground. It was always wet. So you had to pull it out of the ground. It was very difficult. And you know, you'd have big clumps of the stuff. You just couldn't, you know, it didn't crumble. So you need to dry it out and break it up because you do want it in that sort of crumbly state. You just want a slight bit of moisture in it. So if you could get your soil to the right, um, the right properties or state, I think rammed earth would work very well in those regions too. So again, um, as long as you have a good foundation, a good roof, you're not going to have a problem with moisture. You know, you get a lot of rainfall there, but you're not going to have any problem. It's not going to hurt an earthen wall structure as long as you have that building constructed properly. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to reiterate that. But that's basically my thoughts on building earthen wall systems in the tropics. And... Um, let me know in the comments below if you have experience doing this. I know a lot of people have. I know people have built Cobb and Costa Rica and Panama and Thailand, all over the place. So I'd um, like to know your experiences as well. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.